girl Gladys aka is that your hair welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome I'm so happy to have you here and if you've been rock with me for a minute what's up what's good and welcome back so let's just dive right into this review I am here with a wig by Zuri Sis I haven't reviewed Zuri Sis probably since Zuri Sis Ari which was way last year sometime. So when I saw this unit on the YouTuber still looking good for EA, I was excited because this is when HD lace units first started coming out and it looked really good on her. So I wanted to try it out for myself and I'm finally getting the time to do it. So this is Zuri Sis Brit. This is her stock card here. So just a few specs on Brit. She is a 13 by four frontal, meaning that your parting space area is supposed to be 13 inches across here and four inches back. She comes with a wide, flawless, pre-tweezed hairline. And they say on the stock card, naturally blended edges. She does have your two combs over by the sides, a comb in the back and adjustable straps. This is premium Swiss lace and it's heat safe up to about 360 degrees. Let me give you a quick 360. Alright y'all, so let's get into the pros of cons of Miss Brit. First pro straight out the pack for me was the texture. It feels so lovely. To me it feels very human hair light. This is a quality synthetic hair fiber. Like this is not a human hair blend, but it reminds me somewhat of the Bobby Boss unit that I absolutely love that is a human hair blend from the Miss Origin series, Natural Straight 26. Y'all definitely need to check out that video because that hair is bomb. But this is mimicking that texture and I just love it. It is a yakier texture, like a closer to the light yakky side. It feels like I got my natural hair silk pressed. Oh, feels so good to touch. And I'm not getting any tangling out the pack either, which is great. Another pro for me is the layers and the style in general. I love sleek straight units like this when they have layers. I just think it looks really nice. I think it frames the face pretty well, so I didn't cut any layers into this. I do like that the parting space goes back four inches, and it, to me, it goes back pretty deep, maybe four and a half, so that's great. And I really like that the cap size is big head friendly. I have a medium sized head, but I do have a lot of subscribers who have a larger head, and I know they'll be happy to hear that this is big head friendly. Now, on to the cons of this unit. The lace was definitely a struggle for me. Mind you, I'm still learning how to lay, slay, and everything in between when it comes to frontals. So it could just be me still learning. But I just had a hard time blending this lace. As you can see here, even after applying like my foundation and powder, I was still getting like that halo effect. I tried applying some more of the bedhead spray, but it wasn't really working. It was getting really frustrating. Like I spent like a good 30 minutes trying to fix the lace and I was still getting the halo. I'm getting up close for y'all and it definitely looks better. But this is why I like to film in natural lighting as much as I can with my frontals because I just want y'all to be able to see what it could look like when you step outside the door one day after the apocalypse is over, you know what I mean? I think what finally helped me is that I did apply a dab 
around the halo area, I applied a dab of the got to be glue gel in the wet black bottle. So this bottle right here, and I pressed it in with my comb, and then I applied heat with my blow dryer and just kept pressing, and then eventually it started blending a little bit better. So I think what I'll start doing with my frontals, especially you know if they don't come with brown lace, I will probably try applying got to be glue in the black bottle first before adhering and then put the spray on top from the free spray. I mean from the bedhead spray because the bedhead spray, the hold is amazing, but I just really need to get my blend game together. And sometimes I feel like, Dag, is it just me like being a brown skin woman, especially being dark brown? Ugh, like why am I always getting this halo? Sometimes it works out really great. Like for example, with the Outre wig, Ivory, the one that I took the braids out and flattened it out. Oh my God, that blended so nicely. But Ivory, pretty sure that came with a browner lace. So it was easier for me. I just need to get better when I get lighter lace than my skin on these frontals, just get better with the blending techniques that I use. So I'm trying different things. You know, I've recommended the powder by Ruby Kiss, but sometimes it comes off ashy. So now I'm a little bit iffy about it. The CoverGirl foundation still works well for me, but I'm just like learning here and there and watching videos. But right now it definitely looks better. I've definitely had similar issues with lace when it came to units from the Body Boss HD lace line. I reviewed Jacintha recently, which did turn out bomb, but the work was a lot for the lace. And as well as Body Boss Kava, again, that melt looked so good. <laughs> but the elbow grease that I put into that wig, y'all, I was very annoyed. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's just what it is when it comes to these synthetic wigs and their quote unquote HD lace. Now another con that I noticed, which was not a super huge deal, but because the cap is big, I don't know, I just felt all this extra space right here and it was looking like humpy on the side. Like I, I don't usually experience that at all. So I had already adhered the wig and I tried to adjust the strap while the wig is already adhered to my head. One side is adjusted, the other side is not. I'm still seeing like the humpiness. Like I feel like this is laying really straight and this side is not laying the same. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is due to the cap being big or awkward. I don't, I don't know what that's about. But of course, if you have a larger side head, you probably won't experience that. Overall, I think this is definitely a quality synthetic wig, especially for a price under $50. A lot of these pre tweeze hairlines, you know, the price point just keeps getting higher and higher, especially when you're talking about Bobby Boss wigs, which are now like, some of them are in the 60s, you know what I'm saying? And even Outre, I saw they come out with Outre Geneva, and that joint is $60. Mind you, I love the hairline that Outre's been working with lately, but I saw IVD review Geneva, and the fibers to me didn't seem like they were all that for $60. So y'all already know how I feel about texture on these hair fibers, that, and that means a lot to me. This hair feels great. Now remember, it's still synthetic. It will tangle at some point. It might shed a little bit, but for the way it's looking right now, I think this will definitely hold up for some time, especially since we're not going anywhere. So all you can do is wear it to the kitchen, to the bathroom, to the living room, your bedroom. <laughs> Despite the lace, I still feel like it's a solid buy. Now as far as the hairline, I feel like it could be pre-tweezed a little bit more, but that's up to personal preference. Also, one more thing. I've had a few people ask me about my lashes, right? Right now, I'm getting my lashes from Amazon and I have been trying Amazon lashes pretty much for the past year or so. Nothing has really stuck with me until like the past month. I included some of my faves down below in my affiliate links, but this right here, these are my absolute favorite right now. The brand name is Nukali, and these are four, four, four pairs for $8.99, I believe. And they also have one where they have 12 pairs for $9.99. I'm gonna try that one too, I just ordered them. These lashes, I mean, look at them. I'm like smizing right now. <laughs> they look really good and they're so affordable. So if you are, you know, dabbling into the lash game, you want something a little bit more dramatic, maybe you're a content creator and you just need some lashes pretty quickly and you don't know what to try, check out these Amazon lashes and let me know what you think. I like lashes that separate like this. You know, they look fluffy, they're comfortable on the eyelid, and yeah, I feel like I'm slaying them. What do you think? <laughs> but yes, the link to them will be in the description box down below. 
please let me know how you feel about this unit in the comments down below. How do you feel about the hairline? What I said about the lace? Are you another dark skin woman struggling to lay these frontals? If you feel some solidarity with that, please comment to me down below so I'm not alone. <laughs> And if you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so that you don't miss anything coming up. Huge shout out to all of you who watched my 10K celebration video. We made for 10,000 subscribers! I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed seeing all of your lovely comments. It really meant so much to me to read all of them and hear all the nice things that you had to say. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just so humbled. And if you want to check out some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.